I'm disappointed to tell you that Life by You has been delayed again. <laughs> no, but it's for good reasons. I guess we'll watch this video today that Rod just posted and we're gonna see why they're delaying it and how long we have to wait again. I kept saying, oh, I can't wait to get my hands on it and now I have to wait even longer, but that's okay because I'm moving soon and it's fine. Hey, don't forget, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I've noticed a lot of people are not subscribed right now. And if you like watching Life by You content, make sure you hit that subscribe button to come back to my content every time I post a new video. Anyways, with that being said, let's see what this is about. Okay, so here's a tweet. Paradox Tectonic GM Rod Humble has an update for the Life by You early access timing. Watch the full video here. That's it. I woke up a little bit ago and was like, no, <laughs> but that's okay. It's okay. I know it's for the better good and it'll be a better game in the end, right? Right. Okay, let's watch the video. Also, it's only a five minute video, so we don't have to wait too long to know Oh, it looks like it says June 2024, so <laughs> spoilers! Looks like June is when it's gonna release now. Okay, let's watch. Hello everyone. We are moving the start of early access for Life by You to June 4th, 2024. Mm. Um, we absolutely still will be an early access title and we're still going to be listening to your feedback all okay. the way through okay. early access. Okay, good. What is the team taking this time we're to do? We're gonna be using this extra time to address some of your feedback. Um, including, first of all, bugs. As I've pointed out over the past few videos that I've shared, um, I've been calling out some bugs that I've seen, and I some of them are getting in the way, and I yeah. don't want them to be in the way for you when you start early access and have fun in the game. So bugs, uh, also performance and stability. We want to make sure that, although it's an early access title and we've got lots and lots of features and content to roll out during early access, we want to make sure it's stable and performant out of the gate. I mean, that's to a, fair. A good degree. I um, agree. That's good. Next is character art. As oh. thank you so much for all of your feedback, and we've had a really good conversation. They're going to make the characters character look. Art. We're going to continue to make those improvements up to the start of early Better. access but also during early access. But the character art between now and June 4th is another area okay. we're looking at. Great. Um, character idols and proportions are important to us. We want to make sure that our skeletons contain a large range of proportions yes. that you can Good. make whatever characters you like. Um, also the facial animations. We've, I've mentioned in several of my previous videos that we're looking to add more life to the face. You know, Make the, them look more the, alive. Uh, the, the face and the eyes of the windows to the soul. And we think that right <laughs> now we, we, we're a little off where we want to be for the start of early access. So we want yeah. more, more life, more engagement in the face. Okay, good, good, um, good. We want to redu reduce clothes clipping. So yes. as you know, Life by You has got several layers of clothing. So you can wear a coat a and, and a jacket, jacket and a, a shirt pose. and an undershirt Gloves. and all of those result yeah. in sometimes clipping and they have to be um, hand edited so we want to make sure that those uh, clothing items have got much less clipping and they look and hang naturally when you okay. mix and match. Good, um, good. We also want smoother animation transitions between mm -hmm. actions good. so you've already started to see some of that with the uh, turn so as you'll have noticed they kind of turn on one foot and it looks a lot smoother now yeah. more of that but applied to other areas okay. um, building assets and uh, the builder UX okay. um, the great, build great. tool has got many many features we're making a polish pass on the UX and also we're adding even more assets um, Ooh, as a reminder awesome. yep, every yep. lot that you've seen in our sample world was created using the build tool. And so out of the gate, we want to make sure that you've got an incredibly powerful uh, build tool where you can build whatever lots you like in your worlds. Yes. Um, next is gameplay refinements. Um, we have been pouring in quests, conversations, content, troves, skills Wonderful. over the past few weeks. And we're going to continue to do that. Um, obviously, we're going to balance that with uh, QA. We don't want to add more bugs. But we want there to be a decent amount of more extra content for the start of early access. And obviously, content is what we're going to be adding all the way through based off your feedback all the way okay. through to a full release. Are there any updates for the modding community? Mod tool and creator tool usability. So first of all, thank you to all of the uh, mod and creator partners who have been testing Life by You for us. And uh, based off that feedback, there are some changes and some improvements that we want to make to our mod and creator tools. You saw a preview of that with uh, the camera tool a few weeks back, okay. but also other mod tools that create content within the game. 
How does Life by You team feel about the date change? As a team, we are so stoked for this date change. It gives us a little bit of extra time yeah. to really focus on a quality player experience and a fun game right from the start of early access. Yeah. What does this mean for those who pre-ordered on Epic? <laughs> so what Again. does this mean if you pre-ordered? Your pre-order will be refunded. And thank you so <laughs> Again. much for your support. Um, thank you in particular to those who have pre-ordered not once, but twice. Thank you. We're not going to ask you to do it a third time. Um, but we are really <laughs> Until they're for sure ready, ready probably well. to You can still release. wishlist the game on Epic and Steam. Okay. What does this mean for the pre-order bonuses? For the existing pre-order packs, these will be rolled into the game for everybody at the start oh, of early access. Nice. For those of you who have ordered through Epic, please be on the lookout for an email from Epic with mm. a thank you from us. Um, and finally, of course, we will continue to listen to your feedback going forwards. What does this mean for the team's weekly vi videos? We will continue to listen to your feedback, post Great. our weekly videos, and we're also going to look at new ways to uh, communicate with you and the community awesome. as a whole. Um, thank you so much for your support. Can I have a Discord? Support, and you can get all the details a life about you, this Discord. message over at the blog post. Before you head to our blog to read more. Thank you so much for all of your support and your patience. There's a blog? And your oh. to early access. Okay. We could not be making this game without all of your wonderful feedback and your support. And thank you so much for your engagement. Um, it really is helping us drive the way we make this game because this is a game for you. And we I really hope appreciate they're watching it. Our, so my thank videos. you so much. We'll see you in <laughs> June. I love you all. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Okay. So I guess that's that. They did mention a blog, so I think we should check that out before I say too much because I might have more to chime in. But I think pushing it back is smart. I know that it's annoying a little bit to have to wait as a consumer, but I understand from the business perspective they want to put their best foot forward and they have been getting kind of rocky feedback from a lot of people about it. Uh, but there's still people like us that care and are appreciative of what they're doing. And I think that in time, more and more people will see that they're taking care to make this game even better. So with that weight, that's okay. We'll get by. It'll be all right. Let us check out the blog. I'm curious if they have anything super important here or if it's just like more Q&A probably in text form. All right. So we're just going to skim through this. Probably not going to read it all exactly, but I'm going to see if there's any more information we can glean from it. So they're just saying you can watch the video. Their decision to move it into early access later is because they want to create a fun, enjoyable player experience from the start. They don't want to go into early access having it be really rough and get a lot of negative reviews probably. So they want to make sure that when you do uh, get access to the game, it is in a good and playable state and a good foundation for the rest of the game. As always, it's based on the feedback and guidance that shape life by you. And the next three months, I'll make sure that the game is in a great spot for us with less bugs and issues. Yeah, I will say there was a lot of bugs in the January video that was talking about the new stuff. I was like, there's so much clipping. There's so much like just little things that make it feel like it's not polished. And I get it being in early access, but I also feel like they're gonna get a lot of negativity if they release it as is. So I am okay with them waiting. New release date is June 4th. So that's four months away. Four months away, almost exactly. So that's okay. And they said, will it still be in early access and why? Because obviously people are probably wondering like, why don't just release it fully done? Well, they still wanna take the feedback from the people once we actually get our hands on it. So yeah, exactly right here what they said there. And then a reminder that early access is crucial for them. Updates to games such as bug fixes and additional content will continue after early access as well. So it's not like they're just gonna work on it through the early access period and launch a game that isn't updated in the future. It's something that we're seeing a really early version of all this and we're going along for the ride, which is kind of fun. I like this. And why are you taking the extra development time? Feedback from us. Hopefully they've watched some of our videos and uh, read some of the comments. I'm sure they have. Otherwise they probably wouldn't have uh, made these changes as often and actually like told us in the videos why they're making the changes, right? A few creators and modders who are playing the game early. I'm not one of them. I wish. <laughs> but if you need someone to test your game, I'm good at breaking stuff and finding bugs. And I love the premise of Life by You and I can't wait to actually play it. <laughs> so the main thing they're working on are bugs. They want to have as many bugs 
polished up by then, which is great. Performance and stability, continuing to work on the performance so the game runs smoothly on our recommended specs, and the character art, which is huge, because that's probably one of the biggest things that people don't like about the game is that the characters don't feel lively and don't look good. So I think that if they can get like a good artist to come in and kind of refine that and make the characters actually more unique, I think we'll be in a better place. In the market, people are going to see it as like actually a good competitor. They're working on proportions, the idols and facial animations, reducing clipping of clothing and smoother animation transitions from one task to another. Also, they're working on adding the build mode assets and the UI of the build mode to make that a little bit better and easier to understand. Adding more assets, of course, like you mentioned. Gameplay refinements, feedback has been instrumental in knowing what aspects of gameplay need refinement. If you watch his recent videos, you'll know that there are several elements that they would like to add to a game during early access and we want to get started on those in these upcoming months. And the mod tool usability. After working with a group of modders, they understood that some of the tools could use some improvements, so they're going to work on that and make it easier to use during this time as well. And then, of course, if you pre-ordered, you'll get your money back. They're not going to ask for a third pre-order until probably, like, quite close to release date when they're for sure going to launch it. So don't worry about it. If you pre-ordered, you'll get your money back. What's cool is they're adding the, the stuff they were giving to people who pre-ordered to everyone that buys the game at launch. So you kind of get the pre-order stuff already, and that's awesome. Oh! The Early Access Discord. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna have a more public Discord. We initially will open it up to anyone who signed up for the email list. Okay, I'm gonna do that for sure. Because at this point I did not pre-order it because money was tight and I was like, well, I'll wait, I'll get it. I'll pre-order it like the day before it comes out. And then it never came out yet, so I didn't pre-order it yet. So it's cool that they're gonna have more ways for us to hopefully talk to the community. I'd love to be a part of that more. And continual updates every week still. We're gonna be able to see more about what is happening as they make these changes and improve the game. So that's exciting. We're not gonna get less videos. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications if you wanna make sure you're here every Friday when I drop more videos. This is a second delay. What are your chances of a third? I'm sure people are probably questioning that. But now that we direct hands-on feedback from a group of passionate life sim players, we know we have a few things to address before we can enter early access. They feel confident that another change will not happen. There's no one that can guarantee that promise. Yeah, so there's no guarantee that it won't um, get delayed again, but they want to make sure a game is up to par and quality and people are happy with it when it does enter. What are chances of earlier early access? If you're in the early access discord, we hope to show you elements of game that we're working on and receive some of your feedback in real time. I need to be there. <laughs> I need to join. So that's something uh, also that I can probably talk about. And the platforms, it'll be available on Epic and Steam on release as it was before. So make sure you wishlist it. I'll leave a link to the game uh, down below if you want to wishlist it now so you don't forget and eventually we'll get to play the game. I guess that's about it. <laughs> I'm so excited that we're still seeing improvements and they're not just giving up on, you know, like making the changes that people are unhappy with. They're actually taking that feedback and making it better. So I hope that it works well for them and I wish them the best and I can't wait to see more of the development of the game. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys next week. All right, bye.